How you doing? Blake here, and I want to talk to you about the eBay Spring 2022 update. It came out two days ago, and I've thought about this. I'm not jumping to any conclusions. I know when these new updates come out, everyone rushes to make a video, but I think that uh, what I have to tell you is going to put it in perspective. I've thought about it. There's one thing I don't like and two things I do like. So let's go over the thing I like first, then what I don't like, and then finally, what I think is gonna be a game changer for eBay sellers and how to use it to make the most of your business. All right, we've got three main categories of update. There is running your business, listing and promoting your items, and fees and financials. So we're gonna go through these. I will be as succinct as possible while still talking about how this will affect you as a business owner. Now, one thing I like, one thing I don't like, and the last thing I think is going to be surprisingly good. So stick around for it. So with the running your business update, we have three main things. They are expanding efforts to reduce unpaid items, updating to a more accurate way of counting listing page views, and trying out the new eBay app messaging experience beta. So they're expanding efforts to reduce unpaid items with automatic payment collection. And personally, I love that. They're taking a page out of Mercari's playbook. It's going to be a common thing we see where they're taking things that other platforms do, Mercari and Poshmark, and probably other ones I don't know about, and uh, using them to make their business better. For so long, eBay has only been competing to get more buyers but I think as it becomes relatively easier to get buyers than sellers, at least new sellers, they find they must compete against these other platforms to offer more services, more benefits to sellers. In winter 2022, we announced that we're going to do our unpaid item promotion, collecting automatic payments when the best offer is accepted. We're excited to keep the momentum going by expanding these efforts to other best offer scenarios, including offers to buyers and counter offers. If you sell a lot of sneakers or vintage t-shirts or the kind of thing where the buyer might be using the last 200 bucks they have in their bank account to buy this stuff, you're really going to love this. But for someone like me, I sell a lot of cards, a lot of books. I don't have very many unpaid item claims, but still, I'm happy for you guys who this will undoubtedly help. We hope these changes will help you reduce operational costs and spend less time dealing with unpaid items. I hope so too. That would really bug me if they didn't do that. They're also updating the way page views are counted. This is mostly just to combat against bots. I don't really see this being a big deal, at least in terms of like proactive ways to make more money. It's gonna look nice. If you scroll down, you can see it looks pretty good right here. Like I love how that is very easy to read, but in terms of like, okay, I'm reacting to the past month's page views. How can I use that to make more money? And the only way I can really see that being a way you can make more money is if you sell seasonal items, you can say, okay, for inflatable pools, for example, or golf clubs, here's the, the spikes in page views. So I should be allocating my time and money to get more of those things two months before, for example. Is that going to be huge for a lot of eBay resellers? Maybe not, but for sellers, if you want to differentiate the two, I do potentially see that being quite helpful. Here's one more thing I love about their expanded efforts to reduce unpaid items, and that's allowing bundling. This is a Poshmark thing, I'm pretty sure, where a buyer says, hey, I want these six things. Here's my offer. And I know that that does mean there's going to be a small amount of buyers who are just like chronically spamming sellers with lowball offers on huge amounts of inventory. But for someone like me who has 50 cents or a quarter into most of my items, I love this. This will increase sales velocity so much, especially amongst collectible items because collectors collect. It's what they do. It's their name. And if they can bundle up, a list of items to add to their growing collection. I want to be the facilitator of that transaction and I want to reduce both the time I spend selling items and the overall transaction fees because it's only one transaction. And I know you're saying, no, oh, it's only 30 cents, but on 25 items that adds up. It does slowly, but it does. And finally, the new eBay messaging app experience beta. What it is, is it's everything's on a thread. Uh, I shared a screenshot on my Instagram. You can go follow me there to see 
of a bad buyer I had who wanted a partial refund because it arrived damaged and they were just fishing for money for me. So uh, what it was is they show you all the messages in one single conversation the way every other messaging app is and has been for like a decade at least. Why is it taking eBay so long to catch up? Because eBay is a slow moving ship, but we all knew that. I like it. Not a huge change. It'll just make conversating back and forth with buyers or sellers for that matter a little bit easier. Next to listing and promoting what you need to know. Category changes to help buyers find your items. Updates to item specifics and category structures. Here's the one I don't like. I don't like this because it's going to make me have more work to do in the short run. Now, I know in the long run, having a more structured inventory system is better for both sellers and buyers, but I just got done adding the author and the listing name and the language to like 700 books a few months ago. And now I got to do it again for collectibles. You see the categories that's affecting collectibles, toys, health and beauty, home and garden, parts and accessories. Ay, 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 ay. If you have like thousands of listings in these categories, you're going to have a lot of work. Now, that being said, I know it's good in the long run. It's just going to be annoying. So get acquainted with these options right here. The required soon feature. I haven't have it highlighted. Oh, you're going to have thousands of those notifications if you're a big seller. But don't worry. The download upload file. I actually did this to change all of my items to buy it now or best offer. I'm experimenting this month, seeing how it is. Spoiler alert. I love it. Uh, so it is not that bad. It's just going to be a pain in the butt. I like that they're getting more money off of offers from buyers. I don't like this because it's going to be more work. And I don't think it's totally necessary. I mean, I'm sure it is in terms of like search results uh, and that kind of like rich data that Google wants. But in terms of like the everyday reseller, it's more a pain in the butt. But whatever. It's their sandbox, their rules. And the final, final series of updates are fees and financials. So what you have to know, there are now on-demand payouts, additional flexibility with new payout scheduling options, and introducing spendable funds. So I'm confused by this because I have daily payments. Why would you need on-demand payouts if daily payments is an option? And I suppose if you're getting weekly or monthly payouts and something comes up, you know, that's nice to have, but it seems kind of superfluous maybe to me. Additional flexibility with the new payout structure, uh, monthly, bi-weekly or weekly or daily. I, I really do not know how this is a big change. In addition to daily and weekly, we've added bi-weekly and monthly. So I guess they're just adding more. It's It seems to me like, okay, like we get it. How is it really, is this worth the effort they're putting into it when there are so many other areas that need fixing? But what I do like the most, and I love this, and again, they're stealing this from Mercari. It's introducing spendable funds. Spendable funds, so when you buy something or sell something, you can do that. You can draw from your eBay money account or the sales go to your eBay money account. And a lot of you are saying, I hate that. That sounds terrible. I want my money as soon as possible in my bank account. And I get it. But think of it this way. There are a lot of casual eBay users uh, who buy things and it might have 80 bucks in their account. And that's going to cut back again on unpaid items. Having the option to buy something from this small pool of money, it might not be a huge dramatic cut, but certainly it will have an impact. And I guarantee you that more than one time, someone who otherwise would have not paid for something will pay for something because they have those eBay funds in their spendable fund account. So just a quick little summary, and maybe you're one of those types who scroll to the end of the video to watch this. The worst thing they're doing is making more requirements for listings. It really isn't that bad. The second thing that I do like they're doing, 
uh, is they are allowing you to use funds on the app and they're making it easier for buyers to buy things uh, and sellers to get their money through mitigating unpaid items. And the thing I absolutely love that I think is going to be a game changer for so many eBay sellers is the introduction of bundled listing offers. Personally, I love that for people who sell collectible stuff, trading cards, books, photographs, whatever, this is going to help you sell so many more items. My name is Blake. I thank you for watching. Please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below with what you think eBay needs to do to make the platform better for sellers. I'll see you later.